À tous de DDO, attention pour le décompte final. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, unité, top, allumage Vulcain. Allumage EAP, décollage. Through the clouds she goes at 1654 local and right on time. Ariane 5 La beginning her mission, lifting off perfectly from the ground here in French Guiana with a lot of fire. Beginning her third mission of the year, the DDO is saying that all is okay on board. These Les beautiful shots, always impressive for the people on the observation sites here at the base, in their cars or on the beaches, watching Ariane rising into the sky, leaving a trail of gold. And uh, we are about 15 kilometers from the launch pad. And even here, you can still feel the sensation of launch. But if you're watching from the closest viewing station, which is only five kilometers away, you can really experience the sensation of the acoustic noise from those two boosters. They are providing 90% of our thrust right now, propelling the launcher along this trajectory and even higher velocity. A launch is something quite sensational to witness. I imagine you've seen many, many of them. Outside, very few. <laughs> I am no. always either here in Jupiter or in launch center. Working, yeah. The one I saw was uh, from the VIP Le view. Est calme. Tous les à bord sont There are people watching at the Toucan uh, observation site right now. Yes, but my preferred place to watch is from the beach in Kourou. The scene by the sea is very impressive. Also impressive is the 780 tons that Ariane's weight is at liftoff. She's burning five tons of fuel per second, two and a half tons in each booster and the core stage burning another 300 kilos per second. She's following the program in the onboard computer, which is giving all the orders. We're in the first of four, four flight phases. We'll describe each in turn, so you can follow Ariane. Right now is the first flight phase, the core engine burning in the, in the, uh, in the uh, main engine and the two boosters. The boosters go are going to extinguish right now. You can see them happening. Those are the two points of orange light on either side, and the white light in the middle is the core stage continuing to burn. And then you we fall at uh, 500 kilometers from shore and you put it to the rear. Everything normal on board. You remember the last time we had a daytime launch? I suppose it was for the first launch of Viga. It was in uh, February uh, 2000. February of last year, I think. L last year at 7 a.m. in the morning. Early morning launch, right. Early morning, La yeah. est nominal. All right, all is functioning perfectly on board. We're into the second flight phase. The single core stage engines burning right now and burn for about nine minutes in all. We're coming up on separation of the fairing in about 10 seconds. You'll hear the DDO call out that milestone. We can separate the fairing now because we're out of the Earth's atmosphere. We no, no longer need it. And shaped like uh, an OGA, the fairing protects the two satellites during the atmospheric flight. Fairing is 17 meters long and has an external diameter of 5.4 meters. And separation just is just given by two systems, one horizontal, one vertical, giving the two halves the necessary pitch for the lateral maneuvers. As you, can you saw the uh, separation of the fairing revealing AlphaSat, our first passenger. That's the black and gold box.